Hey friends, I'm Stacy. And I'm Kevin. And we are working on a cargo camper build. We took it from, we basically gutted everything and are, have redone the whole thing. And we one of the things that we knew from the beginning that we would want to have is an awning on the outside because shade is a commodity that we love. Unless it's a day like today when it's really cold. So today, in this cold day, we are going to <laughs> we're gonna put an awning on the cargo conversion camper. <laughs> so for a list of tools for items that we used in this video, you and for step-by-step -step instructions as well as other things, you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com and we will put a link in the description as well. So to warm up, yes. let's get at it. We gotta get at it. I'm gonna die. So the first step is to gather all of the tools and the awning and all of our stuff, the ladders, all that good stuff. So we are prepared to put on the awning. Today, we're using the awning to protect us from snow. Oh, the heat gun. I'm gonna stick this thing in my jacket. I can feel my face again. I can go your way a little bit. So basically it's gonna be like right like that. Push it right up against it. Mm -hmm. So it's like right, the lip is just touching the inside. See what I'm saying? It's like it, like it sits in that ridge almost. Just inside the top? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is uh, let's go put the butyl tape on it. We're gonna do two rows of the butyl tape on this. And then we're gonna open it up, we're gonna just get screwed in. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do um, is put two rows of butyl tape down the inside of this. Basically, the way we the way we install this is this metal plate goes right up against the top plate, and then we open up the awning and we screw it in in multiple places, tightening the butyl tape in between there. So it's actually a pretty easy install. Because it's so cold. We have to heat that up with the heat gun prior to putting the butyl tape on so that it will stay on. And he keeps just trying to warm himself. All right, so I like to use butyl tape because it seals things between the camper and whatever you're putting there so that you don't get uh, leakage or any any other stuff. It just, it really just helps kind of give a, a nice cushioned, when you put your awning on, uh, the zipper is always on the bottom. That way when it rains, it doesn't leak into your awning and just uh, make it a big wet mess. So when we get up there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open that zipper. We're going to flip the awning up on top of the camper to expose the metal plate. We'll get it lined up and then we'll screw it in. And we're gonna use a self-tapping sheet metal screw that's about an inch long. And we'll do several of those and then I've got a couple of inch and a halfers that I'll put in just to uh, give it extra security. This is Surfer Boy in the winter. <laughs> Surfer Boy originated many years ago when I would not wear makeup and go into the ocean and I'd come out looking like a boy. <laughs> it's already ended. Got it? Yep. All right, so now we're gonna pop this strap. Don't lock under me because I got that drill. Mm -hmm. And we're just flipping this up on the top. Like that. Yep. All right. All right. So now we're gonna come my way. How far? Uh, you got it. Where's the light at? The light's all the way okay, over here. Okay. So adjust space it based. Move. Adjust it based on what you want. Taylor. Well, you probably you want it over, over the door. Here, a little bit. Right there, I think. Right there? Okay, all right. What do you so think, Taylor? Yeah. Or a little bit more. Maybe a smidge more so we don't get water Like up, up to there. the edge yeah. of that? Right yeah. there. Okay. Up to those screws. Right, bring it okay. down. Okay. Now you're just kind of putting it in that. In the groove. Yeah, so. Really, actually. Yeah, do it just like that. So, let me. Okay, so the screws that I put in, 
they, they're grabbing, but I just don't feel like they're long enough. I've got some great big ones that I'm gonna use. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling directly into the top side of the camper with uh, self-tapping screws. And what those are doing is those are securing this into the actual wall of the camper and the top, uh, the top stud that basically goes around inside the camper. All right, so we've got this secured. I actually secured this one with more screws than I did my other one that, uh, that I've done on my uh, previous campers, but wanted this to be good and solid. So I'll show you where I screwed down the whole thing. And when I screwed those in, what I did is I pushed the, uh, the rod that actually uh, suspends the roof part of it out so I could screw in underneath that. And now I'm gonna put the rod back. All right, so we got the awning on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out and set it up for the very first time. I was told I have to help. And then just... Once it comes down, it's actually easy to put out as far as you don't have to be standing up there necessarily as much. So what you do, on there, can I give them instructions? Yeah. Here? So as you're pulling out your awning, there's a couple things that happen. First, when you pull out, you've got these bars. What I typically do is bring those down, kind of about height like that, and then have somebody, and then I lock them in. So then. Uh, you, what you do is you pull it from the middle, kind of pulling it up. I put these on an angle a little bit, typically, just so they don't get away from me. Just kind of hold the tension on it from there. Tension! Then Taylor, okay. what you're going to do is you're going to grab that top bar and pull it out. I'm going to pull out this bar. Grab that top bar. Okay. And what you do is you twist to loosen these, and then you bring it down. Come over here so I can show them. There's some holes in this bar. I can't twist it. Oh, it's like Velcro that goes Here, you hold this bar, you hold this bar, you twist it. Oh. And then once you get it in place, you twist it back the other way place to lock it in. So what you do is you go through these holes and you, I don't like that extra screw being on there. I like it in a little further. No, it, it, believe me, it's better to have it up there. I was wondering if it's supposed to go on the inside. No, because it, no, because it, it, you know, if you do that, then you'll be here for forever getting, doing all the stuff. So then you're going to tighten that back up. Now, before I leave this side, I'm going to grab one of these, I'm going to pull it over, and just kind of put it on there to hold it. And I'm going to go back over to this side. You can do the other ones, too. No crow those. He only said I have to do one. No, no I do only do one when I'm going over here. Uh. So what I try to do is get between both of these holes, Okay, and then I'm going to bring this out taut and then I'm going to twist it so it's tight again. Then I'm going to bring another one of these around just to have it on there while Taylor goes around and does the rest. Now, what we need is who brought the bag? So what we have now is some yellow line. They got a camper now. <laughs> So it comes with this yellow line, and once we affix the line, I leave it. See how we I leave it hooked up the entire time. So once we have the line hooked in there, we typically leave it. Are you going? So we got this little slip knotty thing. And I'm just gonna get some extra cord on the top of it. I'm gonna take the loop and push it through the hole. So it gives me a loop on the opposite side. So now I have a loop here, and I thread the original cord back through this loop. And then I am now secure to myself with a little bit of trauma. There we go, we're tight. Now I have all of this to pull out and secure it to my little tent peg. And what you would do next is, yeah, you just uh, secure these down with some spikes. Typically what I like to use, I, I still typically keep 
a little bit of an inward angle on these and then angle one side down further than the other so the rain can run off. And actually these awnings hold up even better than like your normal awning on your camper in a rainstorm. I've had very good success with that. And then typically when I, when I secure it, I secure it on a little bit of an angle going away from, from where it's in place. And then basically uh, when you put it back away, it's the exact opposite. The awning is finished. We Ooh. now have a camper with an awning. What do you guys think? We love it. It's beautiful, it's super easy. Yep, and awnings are very important when it comes to shade, especially um, when you're out in places that have no shade to begin with. So like it, it definitely helps, yes. All right, so for a list of tools, products used, tips and tricks, step-by-step -step instruction and more, you can go to our website at www.befreebenson.com and we'll link it in the description below as well. And for more videos like this, to see some of the other projects we've done, you can click on the video on the screen or you can go to our website and click on the playlist. Mm -hmm. And if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button and also subscribe to our channel. And as always, doing things yourself saves you money and allows you to be free. See you in the next video. Oh, good cold morning. <laughs> it is so cold out here. Surfer boy is back. On <laughs> top, one on the bottom. It's gonna be a terrible video because you're not actually telling me. Oh, my freaking hand's gonna freaking freeze off. Oh, you have to restart. Eric it's behind your... No, I don't like that.